Hey everybody, this is Christina with Tattered Rose Studios. I am coming to you tonight to show you, um, I finally finished my Magic of Oz mini album. And I actually started by um, making a larger mini album, but uh, because when I went to my local scrapbook store, they only had the graphic 45 papers um, you can buy them individually it wasn't in a pack so um, so I had bought some but I didn't have enough to do a full large mini album I'll show you what I started with I did the cover for the large mini album but that's pretty much all I got done so this is my cover um, I hand drew this hot air balloon let me get a different view I, ha I um, hand drew this hot air balloon and um, on some with some uh, chipboard and then I had uh, printed out a color photo from the movie and stuck it behind it and um, so this is what my cover was going to look like but it's just so big that I couldn't I didn't have enough paper to finish it so um, I, I really like this right here I use the graphic 45 magic of oz um, chipboard pieces and inside i took a piece from the wizard of oz um, paper uh, paper from the book and i found the word kansas and i stuck it in the little keyhole and did some glossy accents over it i don't know if you can see it let me see if i can get a it is just not focusing very well. But it looks really cool. But I'll show you what I did do with the papers that um, that I did use. And this is what I came up with. I did this a few days ago. And the lighting in here is not very well. So I'll have to kind of hold it and tip it sideways. But... Um, this is using the smaller, this is not the lunch bag size, it's a little bit smaller. These are the um, paper bags from Michaels. And um, I bound this kind of like a bind it all, but I used um, book rings. Um, there's uh, six of them. And I found some charms. And they were little high heels. And I painted them with some red stickles. I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to get them so you can see them. Little red high heels um, right there. And then I have this green tassel. It reminds me of Emerald City. And then just a whole bunch of ribbons. So my cover says there's no place like home. And I pop dotted um, Oz here and then um, some of the flowers from the paper collection. And then on the inside, the first page is about the witch. Um, I have pop dotted the this compass here and put her fussy cut of her legs out and stuck them behind there. This little chipboard tag is um, um, pop dotted up. I have some twine around it just for decoration. On this side, I have pop, uh, fussy cutted the witch out. And I pop dotted up the frame and pop dotted up this little compass here. And then I stuck some of these tags behind it. The monkeys, the witch, and the little ghost. And then I put this little tab here. It says Wicked. And inside I have, let's see if I can get it, sorry. I'm doing this with one hand. Wish I had a better camera, but I don't. Um, inside the bags, I have the large um, little pieces from the paper collection. In the back, they can just put some journaling. The next page is Dorothy. I left this one so that you can um, put a photo in there. And then this side... I pop dotted up her little image here and um, pop dotted up the word home 
And then in here, I took one of the little images and used it for a book cover. So inside, you can do journaling. And it just sticks behind here. And I don't know if I have... I do have a tag in this one. Okay. This one has the tag with the scarecrow and the tin man. Same thing. You can do some journaling on the inside. And the next page is um, got the scarecrow over here, and they come. These little tags come out. They're just he's behind the little tag of his brains, and this room for a photo here. And then over here, I have the tag of his heart for the Tin Man, and the one says courage for the lion, and I have this cute. Um, puppy sticker um, it's a heart right here and then I found this at Michael's with the charms and it just reminded me of the courage um, charm that the lion got from the wizard so I just um, pinned that to the page that was really cute and I'm not sure if there's a tag in this one I know some of them don't have tags yep this one does this one has a tag this is the postcard tag with all of them. Some more journaling. And this next page is the field of poppies. I have the um, good queen, or the good witch here, um, pop dotted up. And you can stick um, a photo here or some tags underneath there. And then I have um, these two chipboard tags. Um, pop dotted up and also behind here I have some really cute cream colored lace and same with on this side some cream colored lace and then you could put a photo behind here too I even have some little um, emerald green bling on the flower there and the last page is like for Emerald City I just have some green bling, uh, the emerald green bling over there. From I think it's from Jolie or Recollections, and then I have some twine here and um, a little rosette. And then over here, I pop dotted up this um, picture of the wizard, and then some more rosettes here from Recollections. And another um, tag here, it says Wicked, because in parts of the movie he wasn't very kind. And there's room for a photo here as well. And this one does not have a tag in it. But that's the last page anyway. And then on the very back, I have some more of that cream lace here. And then some chipboard letters, says Oz, and some more rosettes. And that's it. That's my little uh, Magic of Oz. Um little mini and I hope you like it um, I will probably have this mini up for sale um, on my Etsy store um, and I'll also have it up for sale on my um, website at tatteredrosestudios.com so you can you can look for it at either place and I hope you like it and I have more videos coming soon I have um, a really awesome kit coming up in the next couple days if you love Tim Holtz products um, you'll love this kit it's um, it's full of all his, lots of his metal um, trinkets and um, it's very very fun very awesome so I hope you guys will tune into that video and um, buy, get that kit um, when it comes out because I'm only going to have a few available so uh, we'll see you guys soon and talk to you later bye